Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of world-class weirdos in love that love reacting to some World of Warcraft. World-class weirdos, okay. Yeah. So yeah, just mix it up there for the end here. Uh, so this is part 10 of our journey. This is uh, the final part of our initial journey. Um, we're going to be doing more World of Warcraft uh, in the future. It'll always be a part of this channel. And uh, you know that because it's got its official drink on the channel, the Whiskey Warbringer. So cheers. Cheers. See, we're sophisticated weirdos yep. as world-class weirdos. Exactly. And this is why we have the fancy mugs. <laughs> this is why we have the fancy mugs. It was so cold in the mug that there was a little bit of like ice like on top of yes, the, <laughs> on top so of the beer. <laughs> uh, but okay, so this is Shadowlands. Um, a lot of controversy for this one. Uh, a lot of people saying, you know, maybe it's like, you know, they don't, they don't love it. They don't love the direction where it's going. Um, we'll see. We'll see for, for ourselves. And, uh, you know, we're not as invested as since we don't play the game. We're just checking out the cinematics for it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where Sylvanas' character goes. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, she was uh, someone that we um, re initially really liked. And then not so much after Battle for Azeroth. Yeah. And we'll see if she has a redemption at all. Ice crown. Hmm. A monument to our suffering. You may seem scared of the veil between life and death. Hmm. Where a usurper sits. On a frozen throne. But no king rules forever. Oh, this king? Badass. We're used to doing on fire from like World uh, Warcraft 3. It's like the helm. And she's looking to take it back, I guess. She looks so badass. I wish she wasn't a psychopath. <laughs> She's got some spidey sense. Crown. 
to wield so much power. Oh gosh, you're gonna put it on? Oh shit. That power will be your prison. Oh, this yeah. world is a prison. Holy shit! it in her chest but you got got under the fence she's ripping it apart i didn't think she was that powerful she's not going to spin the wheel she's going to break the wheel Selfless life, and for that, you have been chosen. Chosen? To shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the Ascended, serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light, and my work is not done. There is an evil that must be. There is no evil here. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home. Murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Mm. Unlike any soul I have seen. I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. This is the way. Devos. How long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? You. Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. The room 
wounds on his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. It's not smart. As you command, my Archon. You can't, she's not gonna abandon it either. Nor should she. Uther! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls, we will claim him. I was Draka of the Frostwolf clan. A warrior who gave everything to protect what mattered most. But I was not done fighting. Drinks is a good man. Yeah. Very cool man. Maldraxxus, where the armies of the Five Houses once stood side by side to protect the realm of death. It was here I served the House of Eyes, a strange fit for a warrior soul. Again. Their ways were not mine. Faster. Assassin. Eventually, this life after life began to feel right. The house of plagues lies in ruins. One fifth of Mount Draxus wiped out. It's hard to believe they could be so careless. Perhaps they weren't. No matter what happens now, Mount Draxus must stay true to its purpose. For if we fail in our duty, the Shadowlands will fall. I believe the House of the Chosen still stands with us, and I trust you to deliver this to Margrave Draxus. Now, 
go. And Draka, be watchful. My brothers, I am on urgent business. Trust those undead skeletons. What happened to like a wolf horse though? Ah! <laughs> the house Ooh. of the chosen and most of all a protector of maldraxus yeah she has a now the little speech at the end there she's badass <laughs> yeah she is she's pissed mm -hmm. to my grove, friend. My queen, I shall protect these souls through their winter. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I face, I swear it, my queen. I swear it. Rest well. Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little, I know. Thank you. 
must be done. Reclaim everything from this grove. Everything. This is my growth! You will not destroy them! Aralon! We are not your enemy! Anyone who threatens my grove is my enemy! I swore an oath! My queen! Yeah, she's not happy with you. I kept faith all this time that you would save us. And now you send scavengers to my grove? Why? your grove so that others might live will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire or will you keep your oath your heart is pure I will honor your choice See the same thing. Very tall queen. So far, it's my, it's my least favorite album. I to didn't the get good it. people of Revendreth, it is with optimism that I address you today. Though these are challenging times. Firstly, I assure you that our holy mission to help the most violent and wicked souls atone for their sins is and always will be our utmost priority. Our rituals are effective. Our judgment keen, but fair. We, Venthyr, remain committed to bringing eventual redemption to all who desire it. It is through your faithful work that even the most evil and prideful beings may ultimately be spared an eternity in the Maw. Unfortunately, of late, the flow of such hubris-written souls has virtually ceased. And as a result, Animar 
Our most precious resource is in dwindling supply. Even we, the faithful who extract the anima, have not been spared the effects of this mysterious drought. Oh yes, we still have our old reliables, our workhorses. Yet I fear they will not be enough. We That's are doing up. everything in our power to gather more anima. But, simply put, we must all, rich and poor alike, make sacrifices for the greater good. Therefore, I have decided to implement a strategy of conservation and rationing, which should keep the anima flowing to those most in need. In this manner, we will keep our people strong and our land healthy. Despite the efforts of those who would use this crisis to further their own ends and rebel against the rightful structures of our society, rest assured, we shall bring these miscreants to justice. With fairness and mercy, of course. Oh, I am, after all, nothing if not compassionate. My loyal subjects, we are doing all that can be done to stimulate anima production and fulfill Revendreth's honorable purpose. Remain devout and resolute, and know that I will lead us all into a brighter future. I think like the classical music that I was playing with just how dark the whole Beyond the veil yeah, cinematic was. Lies the shadow lands. That's a cool contrast. Where every soul has its place. Give me back the vibes. Yeah. Faster. Mm -hmm. Such sad eyes. eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the eternal city, as the shining heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That 
dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Oh, it sucks. Sister, why have you brought it to me? This one is slipping away. Our duty is grim. Many have been lost. Why would I save her pet? Those who have dreamed by its side awaken with a joy and peace that whispers of wonder. If she dies, then all that is emerald dies with her. Sun must be sacrificed. But Sun must be saved. If we forget that, all that will remain will be empty shells and sorrow. Good speech. This 
was your valiant last stand. For so very long, you've punished arrogant souls. But instead of learning from their suffering, you've become one of them. You just needed to obey. How fortunate you are to witness the splendor of what is about to unfold. Every precious drop of anima so painstakingly run from the tortured souls of lesser beings now paves the path for the banished one to reclaim what was his. And once his liberation is secured, it shall be by his will that all is washed away. The only power that will emerge from this torrent of change is death. Death and those who shaped its victory. Someone will stop you, Tenathrius. Even if I... Do not speak. Observe. Is I do hope you've settled in. The accommodations are a bit sparse, I know. Where are the others? Are they safe? Safe? No. I wouldn't say any of them are safe. I am so tired of your games. As you wish. No more secrets. No more lies. You are a weapon we will use to achieve our ends. I will not become an instrument of death. So you favor life. Is that it? That momentary flicker. Every cruel second spent delaying the inevitable in an endless war that you, like every rim before you, will not survive. You know the truth. Nothing is fair. Not life, not death. So we're going to tear it all down. And what purpose would that serve? Everyone suffers, Sylvanas. But destroying everything will not take away the pain. Oh, you misunderstand. We're breaking a system that has always been flawed and remaking it into one that is just. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that all this time you've been fighting for justice? How can I convince you? From our first breath to our last, every decision is made for us. Then, the afterlife decides what eternity we must endure. We can't even choose who we... We couldn't control anything. But through the Jailer, control of our fate will at last be possible. Look around you! At what and who you've joined! 
What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? You have a choice to consider. Join us willingly, or be made to serve. I thought you believed in free will, Sylvanas. We've never had free will, little lion. But that is about to change. That's the best scene so far. Saya Denathrius has been taken prisoner. What is our plan to recover him? Every soul has its purpose. Denathrius has fulfilled his. We must forge our next weapon. He's not ready. Then a more direct approach is necessary. We have not come this far. Only to falter now. You know what must be done. Ah, uh, there she is again. You know these endless lectures of yours have failed. To convince you. Regardless, the conversation is over. One way or another, we will have you. So I will offer this one last time. Join our cause, or be made to serve. What kind of choice is that? Why even give me? It's the choice you never had. Despite all your grand designs, there's still some shred of your mortality haunting you. As if the Banshee Queen hasn't entirely eclipsed the Ranger General. Don't. Now I understand why you brought me here. Why you've tried so hard to persuade me. Because if you can get me to let go of hope, you finally can too. Enough! Submit! You are only making this harder on yourself. Not harder on me. Right now, you hold all the power. How will you use it? I've not come this far to falter now. Then why do you hesitate? Make your choice, Sylvanas Windrunner. Sylvanus's soul has been fractured from the moment of her death until now. Burn it! This was their home. And you slaughtered all of them! How could you take all those innocent lives? This was beyond life and death. There was no other path to true freedom. How can you not see that? I see what you are. Murderer, monster, butcher. Why can I not escape this torment? The Jailer has severed their bond and condemned her to endlessly relive her atrocities. So long as her soul remains divided, she cannot wake. Maybe she shouldn't. She's the only one who knows the Jailer's plan and how we might save Anduin. She's the one that turned Anduin. Jaina is right. How can we possibly trust her? Her wound runs so much deeper than mine. Well met. Ranger General. 
What is this? Who are you? Someone who shared your fate, felled by the blade of the very same prince. Arthas. I died trying to stop that monster, only to wake up haunted by one with my face. That banshee is you. No. I cannot accept that. Her path began where yours ended. And you've seen the decisions she made. Never in a thousand lifetimes would I betray everything I stood for. You can't possibly understand. The Jailer is deceptively cunning. When I realized I had become his pawn, it nearly destroyed me. He had no doubts it would destroy you as well. Was he right? Or will you accept her shattered legacy and tell us how to stop him? Her crimes are unforgivable. Yes. And she... Burn it! I must face the consequences. We cannot change the past. And we may never find forgiveness in the future. But inaction damns us all. Time is short, Ranger General. Make your choice. I've done all I can. All right, um, so I really liked the Afterlives ones uh, in there, um, like Bastion and uh, was it? Maldraxxus. Maldraxxus, yeah, I wanted to say Morrowind, but we had Elder Scrolls on the mind. Um, Maldraxxus was, was really cool. Um, and then the one with like the vampire dude. I'm really curious and excited about what they're doing with Sylvanas. Um, I don't know if maybe that's part of why these are controversial, but for me, I had, um, after we watched the Battle of Azeroth, I had said mm. that the only way to keep going with this character really was to try to set her on a path of redemption because she becomes so evil yeah, and yeah. so horrible that, I mean, they've done that. They really can't, you can't take that much further. It's and make not, her even more evil, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it would get boring or redundant and just not interesting. So to have her former self, like her, her true very, very deep down self, mm -hmm. now awakened and aware of what she's done. I love that moment when she says like, you know, basically I have to face the music. Like I have to, I have to pay for this. Even though you could argue that, that she wasn't aware of what her sort of like possessed self was choosing because mm -hmm. she seemed not to have known what was going on, but she was still as, as the like two souls in one body willing to face the music and say, I have to pay for this. Like I've done terrible things, mm -hmm. unforgivable things. I think that that's something that is probably the toughest lesson to learn as you're growing up, but arguably one of the most important, which is to take responsibility for your actions. Yeah. We are all going to, pardon my French, fuck up. <laughs> We're all going to do it. We're all going to make bad decisions. At some point in your life, if you get through this world without making one bad decision, you haven't really lived because mm -hmm. you're going to do it. Taking responsibility for what you've chosen to do, taking ownership of it, um, that even in your bad decisions is empowering. You know, you're taking, you're taking ownership of, of what you've done and you're facing the music for it, good or bad. And I, I think that that's a, a hard lesson to learn, but a really important one to learn. In one sense, they try to redeem her like in a couple different ways. They try to redeem her, like her, her discussion with uh, Anduin, um, about why she's doing what she's doing and how she's doing it to kind of like, as you said before, break the wheel. 
break the cycle and she's Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah, and shatter the whole the whole fate and like try to you know the the beings that hold all the power and like kind of weave their their fates and, and um, decide on where people go. That was one way to kind of redeem her. And then like also then later on when she has the two souls, it's kind of like all right, well the person who she truly is deep down inside isn't evil. It's just you know that she was corrupted by the Lich King. And, you know, I mean, that makes sense. I don't think there's anything that, like, I, I still can't think that she's redeemable. But I, what I like about this is now I understand where she's coming from more. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with her. And I don't think that, like, she's still coming from it as a in, a in a sense where she doesn't like the way things work right now. So she thinks she knows better and she can think of a better way for things to work is, is basically what, I'm, what I got for it. Because she said she was going to, like, you know, reshape things and things were going to be fair from now on. And she, you know, that came up a lot about things being fair and being unfair. And I think, you know, she feels that what happened to her was completely unfair. I think it's really interesting, the parallels between her and Daenerys Targaryen about like breaking the wheel and, and kind of, um, I think it's that, that part of growing up that we all learn, which is sort of like, you know, you know, kid, just learn the way the world works, which mm -hmm. like, it's sort of an adult way of saying the world is shit and unfair and <laughs> deal with it, which is not necessarily something that we should always be willing to accept. Like you shouldn't be willing to accept that the world is a bad place. You should want it to be better. Yeah. And so there's there's something very admirable and and relatable and easily understandable about that desire to, well, no, I'm, I'm sick of the underdogs being the underdogs and being stepped on, like, and the, the powerful always being powerful and just getting everything handed to them. Like we should break the wheel. And and that's a very compelling and and, easy to to empathize with argument at the same time and, and sort of like on the other side of that coin is a thing of part of growing up is learning that the world is unfair it's carving your path in it and making your decisions that will make your life happy and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be on top of the wheel and you have to be powerful or or you have to like change your station in life so to speak but it's sort of like learning how to find a life of meaning for yourself. I, I think to me, uh, you know, it's one thing to want to, you know, change things and not accepting like, you know, your station in life or whatever, or the way things are like, and yes, that is, you know, admirable to, to, to fight for, fight for change, but uh, it's do the ends justify the means. And I don't think that her, you know, means of getting to that way and uh, trying to change things is justifiable. Same for Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, yeah, and so I mean, I mean, I just don't. I, if you, if the only way you can get there is through death and destruction, then maybe what you want um, is not, not necessarily to break the wheel. Yeah. If death and destruction, because that's what the wheel is. It's death and destruction. I wonder with Sylvanas if, because you brought up a really good point that there's sort of like two redemption paths that they've started. Mm -hmm. There's the I want to break the wheel, and then there's oh no, I really didn't know what I was doing. I had a personality. <laughs> yeah. The former is more interesting to me because yeah. I think it's a harder redemption story Yeah, to recognize that, yes, I was a hundred percent in my own mind and fully aware of the actions I was taking and they were terrible. I thought the ends justified the means, but I'm waking up to the fact that no way in hell did they ever justify it. Mm. That's much more challenging than the, Ooh, whoops, just didn't know what I was doing. Sorry. Out of my own mind. Like, ah. and so it's kind of like the, the latter is a little bit of a cop out. I think for me, the best way to wrap this up would be that this is the end of Sylvanas' character, unfortunately. I think that I, I don't I think that if you redeem her and you have this like, oh, there was the two souls, and you know, like she wasn't like, you know, there's the and the good souls now trying to make up for what the you know the bad soul was was doing, okay, that's fine. You know, if you want to have that be the the redemption story of, of Sylvanas, like that's fine, but then I, I don't want her to like could continue on. No, it's gonna be like kamikaze style, good soul kills bad soul, they all die. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, like like <laughs> Her last act is, you know, is something that is uh, is virtuous or whatever, or really, you know, uh, virtuously self destructive. Time to say goodbye to Sylvanas and uh, and move on with some some newer character, some other characters, and follow them and have them be the main protagonists uh, going forward. Let us know what you thought uh, down below in the comments. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, so this is uh, part ten of our journey. Really excited to, to do more World of Warcraft. Now we got a nice little base uh, knowledge of it all. I'm glad we checked out Warcraft 3 beforehand because we saw a little bit of the, you know, Arthas' story come yes. in here. And so that helps having that knowledge going forward. We'll try to do some more deep dives on characters like Illidan and Sylvanas and Jaina. And, Jaina! Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks so much for checking out our reaction for World of Warcraft Shadowlands, part 10 of our World of Warcraft journey. Just keep in mind.
that our reaction is definitely non-definitive.